and welcome to the Wine Affair podcast. Uh, today we have with us someone I was super excited to meet in person about a year ago, I think. We have Jill Davis with Dumal. Uh, she is the brand ambassador for this winery and vineyard out of California. And before we kind of dive into her background and the wonderful wine she represents, I kind of just wanted to go around too and talk a little bit more um, about some of the wine she's decided to pour for us today. Um, so just like with every episode we have, uh, we kick it off with what's in our glass. And today we are pouring a Dumal Highland Divide, Russian River Valley, one of my favorites in California, Pinot Noir. Um, so this is the 2022 and Cindy and I were both fortunate enough to uh, pour the same thing in our glass. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. cheers. Yes. Cindy and I poured it earlier and we're talking about how yummy it smelled just like right away into the glass. Um, and I know Cindy, you were picking up on a lot of the fruit flavors in it as well for a yes. Pinot Noir. Yeah, Jill, this is absolutely delicious. It's oh, so mouthwatering and all of the good things that I love about Pinot Noir. I love, first of all, I love the color. I love that violet color that it has. It's beautiful. And I'm getting uh, on the nose, I'm getting sort of a raspberry violet sort of note when I smell it. And also a little bit of oak. Um, not a lot. I mean, not it's not overtaking it by any means. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. And then when I tasted it, I mean, it's just got that perfect balance of a little bit of earthy with that fruit. It's just it's nice and light. It's just this is just delicious. Andy, what are your thoughts? I could smell it like right when I was pouring it and part of me was thinking I needed to use my repour um, or one of my wine storage devices because my, this is one of my dad's favorite kind of wines and I'd love to share it with him. Um, but as we've been sipping on it, I don't, I don't know if I can wait till to see him. In just <laughs> <laughs> I completely understand. 2022s yeah. are so fresh and so just like easy to drink to be honest it's very much a vintage signature to us um it every year as you know is different each harvest is different and the wines are different every year it's one of the fun things about wine but um the highland divide is a really really special pinot noir it comes 100 percent from our state vineyards so we'll get into this a little bit later but we farm our own vineyards about 90 acres and our state vineyards are located in southwest the majority of our state vineyards are located in the southwest pocket of the russian river valley um a it's a little region called green valley um and so it's really coastal you get this really like vibrant fresh kind of that juicy acidity that you were talking about cindy mm -hmm. um but it retains that purity of fruit as well i mean we can we can get into farming techniques down the road but we don't use a lot of new oak on our pinots we only use about 25 to 30 percent on our wines as a generality so we're really looking to let the vineyards shine and, and let the the site and the estates be what what's the forefront i love that that's such a great description because that's you know we're we love Pinot Noir and my family and it's a pretty consistent grape, but I love it because you can tell the different regions bring out their personality to it. And that's what I was so excited to pour this because when you bring a home a Sonoma or a Russian River Valley Pinot Noir, like it just has that fruit and just that delicacy. Mm -hmm. Um, but it still has the body and the flavors to stand up to whatever you're eating, which sometimes is, is hard to find, uh, but yeah, I, I love this. I could tell it was like a little bit of oak, but it's just so soft. And I think that's nice because it doesn't overwhelm totally. the grape. Pinot Noir is such a versatile variety, I think, which what you're talking about with like pairing and, and how you drink it, it can go with so many different cuisines and so many different foods and different situations, which is one of the things I personally appreciate about it. 